All right, now I got my son some cake. I can come back and finish the rest of this note. All right, application, business, and economics. This is for Math 261, Apply Calculus 1, Section 2.2. So growth of an account. Franco's Fishing Emporium invested $50,000 in an account that earns 1.25 annual interest compounded continuously. I'm just reading it because they already gave us the equation. Okay, I was going to write this myself, but hey, they gave it to us already. The value of the account after two years is given by this equation. So if you want to know how much money will Franco's Fishing Emporium will have after 10 years, we're going to plug in 10 into this function. So what do they want first? They want you to find A of 5 and interpret the meaning of the value. A of 5 is going to be the value of the account after five years. Okay, because that's what A of T is. So if I plug in 5 into the function, um, Franco's fishing emporium, can I just call him Franco? Franco should have more money. 50,000 times e to the 0 0.0125 times 5. You guys will need a graphing, a scientific calculator to do this, okay? And they said put appropriate unit, and the unit is just in dollars, right? So if I go ahead and type this in, Give me one second. I'm typing this in. 0 0.0125 times 5. Um, it comes out to be 53,224 dollars and 72 cents. And this is the amount. Can I go in and write that write that down? Because they wanted us to interpret it. This is the value of the account. after five years that's a great news franco has more money now about what three thousand two hundred and twenty four dollars and seventy two more cents after five years yay all right part b they're asking us to find dadt so the the instantaneous rate of change of his account so how fast is this money growing right oh uh, let's see uh dadt is a prime of T, so I'm going to write this function above. And you and I were practicing during class. Remember, we did a whole bunch of problems together. It's the same thing. A prime of T is, uh, we're going to have to multiply this coefficient. Can I go ahead and highlight this with a big color? Of this 50,000 by... Um, this decimal you have to multiply those two numbers okay what's that going to be Fifty thousand times 0 0.0125 it's 625 625 and i think it was ahmed he brought it up i think that the power the exponent does not go down by one it remains the same that's good, right? We found a, a prime of t or d a d t, and um, we're gonna use this for the problem below. Okay, so hold up, I'll just come here. So what is a prime of five? Let's plug that in. A prime of five is six hundred and twenty-five times e raised to the zero point zero one two five times five, and you will need your scientific calculator to do this. All right, let's type that in. 625 times e raised to the 0 0.0125 times five. And that comes out to be, uh, I'm gonna have to round this, $665. And, and the next number is 309. So I'll round that nine up and give them 31 cents instead of 30 cents, okay? So this is uh, $665.31 per year. Make sure we put the appropriate unit, okay? So what does that mean? The future value of a six-year investment um, going from fifth year to sixth year um, will be $665.31 
more than the future value of a five-year investment. That's uh, that's how much. I'm sorry. I think I said the wrong thing earlier. It's not how fast it is growing. It is how much it is increasing by. So um, I mean. <sighs> We, we should, okay, I think the next one is actually we are finding the fifth year value and the sixth year value. They say compare, part D now, compare the approximation to the actual change. So guys, what we just found using the derivative is the approximation. But if you want to find the actual change, then what you should do, what we should do is find A of six. How much money Franco will have after six years? And what we can do is we can subtract a of 6. So this is the goal. What we are trying to do is a of 6 minus a of 5. That will give us the um, actual change. That's going to be the actual change, right? Hold on. So let me go ahead and find a of 6 first, okay? What is a of 6? I need to plug in 6 into the amount function, e raised to the 0 point, oh no, battery is low, 1, 2, 5, I got distracted, so I almost gave them a 12.5 um, interest rate instead of 1.25 to the 6 power. Okay, let's plug that in, 50,000 times e raised to the 0 0.0125 times 6. That comes out to be 53,894.21, okay? So if I want to find the actual change, I will need to do this number minus a of 5, okay? So let me put this over here. So the actual change is 53,894.21 minus, what was the amount? Can I zoom out and go to the first problem? Like this amount right here, we're subtracting A of 5. And A of 5 was 53,224. 0.72. Okay, so let me go ahead and subtract these two purple numbers. Okay, and that should come out to be approximately the same as what we got using the derivative. All right, let me subtract then. 53894.21 minus 53224.72. Um, what did you guys get? I got $669.49. Look how close this number is. So this is the actual change. And what we got using the derivative function is the approximation. I'm going to highlight them both because they are so close, you guys. Look, this number right there, the approximation and the actual change were just like, what, $4 different, right? So that was very good. I think I made the daily problem similar to this. Instead of just finding the derivative, I wanted to just put on a word problem to it. But that is it for this section. We finished every example. Um, but I do want to show you one more thing if you have time. I'm going to show you why what we've been doing is true. We were using um, theorem 5 that if the function is e to the x, that the derivative of that function is just e to the x. I want to show you why that is true. But in order for me to do that, I need to have a graphing calculator and everything. So, you know what? I may just come back and do that next week with you guys. But that's it.